So we're going to talk about uh, PIREPS, which stands for Pilot Reports. And any pilot can make a pilot report. You may want to um, advertise that the weather's really great, or maybe you want to advertise um, that there's uh, smoke from forest fires burning or that's degrading the visibility, or perhaps you encountered some unexpected turbulence or something like that. So on your cross-country flight plan, your flight instructor should have you call the flight service station, and you can file a pilot report. So what is included in a pilot report? If you were to read a written pilot report, it's going to be coded like this. And then when you're making a pilot report, you could give any of these bits of information. So UA stands for routine pilot report, and UUA stands for urgent pilot report. Uh, maybe there was some severe turbulence, and they wanted to report that so other aircraft don't fly through that area. Okay, the next um, is OV, which means basically your position, what are you over? So maybe you reported that you were 20 miles south of the Greenwood VOR at uh, 4,500 feet. So basically it's going to report the position. The TM is the time, so maybe you reported it at 1820 Zulu. And then FL is for the flight level or the altitude you're flying at. So if you're at 5,500, then you let the uh, flight service station know that you're at 5,500. And next is type aircraft, so you're in a C-172. And this is important information because if you had a Cessna 172 report moderate turbulence, um, a 777 would probably laugh at that, whereas if a 777, a Boeing 777 reported moderate turbulence, then we'd be pretty nervous in a Cessna 172. So that's why we want to know, um, you know, is this a really urgent pilot report or just a routine? What is the position? What is the time? What altitude and what type aircraft created this pilot report? So SK stands for the sky condition. So that would be like maybe you note that it appears to be few clouds at around 7,000 feet. And then WX is going to be uh, weather. So that would be like the visibility. Say you're in the airplane flying along at your 5,500 and you judge that you could see about seven miles or maybe only three miles due to smoke or haze or something like that. You can report that. Next is um, the TA stands for the temperature and they want you to give that in Celsius. So if you, you should have a thermometer somewhere in your airplane, maybe you have to push a button to switch it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, but they do want you to give it to them in Celsius. So maybe you report that the temperature at 5,500 is 11 degrees Celsius. Next we have um, the wind velocity, WV would be the wind velocity. So if you have equipment on board that actually reads the wind direction, you could of course give that. Maybe the winds are out of 290 at 22. Next is um, turbulence. So maybe you have a smooth ride. So if there's no turbulence, then you simply report it as negative turbulence. Or you could report it as light or moderate or severe. Next we get into icing. So you could report uh, light icing, you could report it as rime icing or clear icing or mixed icing. And then finally the remark section would be anything else you'd like to add in there. So if you want to make a pilot report, which I urge you to do at least once, and definitely if you encounter something that would be hazardous to other pilots, you should call the flight service station and make a pilot report. Now I've been saying call the flight service station, but actually you can also just tell ATC and ATC will pass this information on temporarily to the other pilots flying in and around that area. So just once again, we have a pilot report, PIREP, and we have routine, urgent. Um, this is your position, the time, your altitude, the type aircraft, sky condition, the uh, visibility, the uh, temperature, the velocity of the wind, turbulence, icing, and remarks are the items that you may want to report. So let's practice um, calling the flight service station and filing a pilot report. So first I'll look on the sectional chart and I would find one of the VOR boxes that had the flight service station frequency written above it and the name of the flight service station that I'm calling. So perhaps I see Anderson, so I'll call them Anderson Radio, and maybe it's a frequency 122.65, for example. So we'll dial that in, and then we'll call um, Anderson Radio, Skyhawk 870 Sierra Papa. Anderson Radio, last aircraft calling, say call sign. Okay, Anderson Radio, Skyhawk 870 Sierra Papa would like to file a pilot report. Skyhawk 870 Sierra Papa, Anderson Radio, go ahead. Okay, we are approximately 20 miles off the 120 radial off of the Greenwood Golf Romeo Delta VOR, 5,500, and we're a Cessna 172. 
We'd like to report uh, negative turbulence, unrestricted visibility, and the temperature 11 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'll get that in. Uh, would you like any of the updated weather for your route? Um, we just got the updated weather uh, for our routes, but thank you very much. Okay, have a good flight. Thank you. And that's all that you need to do to file a pilot report. Now take this information and they can send it um, onto the next pilots that call to get a weather briefing.